What's going on YouTube? This is Kay Reese here today. I want to bring y'all a video of this Redstone Ceramic Heater unboxing review. If y'all see my other video I did on that heater I picked up from Big Lights, it sucked. I sent it back. If y'all are interested in seeing that, it'll be in the end annotations. I want to go ahead and start with this heater. I picked it up. This is like a Black Friday sale. Um, ends on the 26th of November, which is tomorrow, but I got this from Tractor Supply. This is a Redstone. They sell several heaters like this, uh, this brand, Redstone brand. Uh, this is one of the smallest ones they had. It's normally $20. Um, it was on sale for $14.99, so I picked this up for the bathroom because it's wintertime and it's really cold in this old house. This, so this is a fan force ceramic heater. Y'all can see the controls here on the front. You got 900 and 1500 watt heat settings. A one year limited warranty. Electric. So here's your heat and energy, 5120 BTUs. Heats up medium areas. So see right back here you got the built-in carrying handle, your power indicator light, two heat settings and a fan only control, adjustable thermostat, and a cord storage compartment. So it's got some more information on the back here for you. Let's go ahead and open this up. So I about already got it open. Just flipped it open earlier. Uh, so if y'all can see here you've got some information on the heater in here the actual heater itself so let's pull this up and out like that and you've got your plastic here nothing else in here but some cardboard looks like so styrofoam sorry i'll put that back so let's go ahead and pull the plastic off this bad boy so bam ceramic heater so built-in carrying handles what they're talking about right here then you've got this little kind of little mesh little filter on the back. You can see the little storage compartment, pretty small. You can just fold the cord, stick it in there. Safety switch on the bottom here. So flip this bad boy. Of course, it's got the warnings on top of risk electric shock and all that. So redstone, this is the front of it here. Your thermostat control. So, and then off fan low and high power indicator light let's plug it in and see how it works guys like i said in my other video i did i, I included a review i had a, a electric infrared heat gun which we'll use to see how hot this thing gets how much heat we're putting out all right so we got it plugged in on the highest setting so this should be 1500 watts and i can tell y'all i've had it running for a few minutes now it has not shut off this thing is super hot. Let's see how much how much heat we got coming out of here, guys. As y'all can see here, 267. So directly at these plates here. 260, 250, 248. So somewhere in that area. We'll check in front of it here. 80 degrees almost 90 kind of the air going through not so much the floor the floor is cool but the air passing through this wet this area very nice guys pretty happy with it so far i do have the the temperature the thermostat set all the way to high so y'all can see here i'm showing you all so it's on the highest setting I also have this one the highest setting. So far, guys, it gets a thumbs up from me. I'm pretty happy with it. Like I said, Redstone, Tractor Supply brand, seems to be pretty good. Pretty good quality. Seems to be working good. No problems out of it so far.